As the world recovers from the century-long last war, which devastated the population and left the great nation of Sire a smoldering ruin, the continent of Covert remembers those lost in the year of our kingdom, 982. However, as the world slowly heals, there was always something festering and growing ever hungry in the darkness. An elite organization known as the Bureau of Occultic Observations is always on standby, staying vigilant against any magical threat that may shatter this tenuous peace. This is their legacy. This is Tales of Adventure, Agents of Hello and welcome back to our little corner of the universe, everybody. As always, my name is Dr. Wombat, and I am here today back don't, with Tales of Adventure, Agents of Boo. Don't act like you just didn't drop a feels bomb earlier. What are you talking about? Don't, don't try to play like you didn't. <laughs> this episode of Adventures of Boo is brought to you by PRW on YouTube. <laughs> there, There's a um, lot of really good videos on there. I can't. can't. Why'd you make it real? Look at him. He's in tears. <laughs> if for, for all the listeners out there wondering, um, I just told them that before we dis- before we started recording, how thankful and appreciative I was for not only them wanting to do this, but also being here because this has been one of my biggest dreams for the longest time. And I know that this, especially with some of the stuff that I've been having to deal with, and I think everyone has been dealing with this late, it's just a really fun way for us to just kind of kick back and not worry about a whole lot of things in life. So I wanted to say thank you to everybody playing with me today, as well as thank you to all of you dear listeners uh, listening in and joining us once again for our little corner of the universe. For the four wrestlers in the room, I would like to start a chant for Dappy. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. it. Yeah. It, okay. I hate it when chances kind of die off. Yeah. And our tip or deck. So. I'm also trying to suck up to the DM. Just a little bit. So we don't Listen kill here. <laughs> Let's Listen not judge that. us. So. Crumpet? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mm. Mm. It's a good imaginary crumpet. And spot of tea? Mm, yes, yes. Mm. Mm. This is good make believe. And spot of dick. Mm, maybe later. Right. So, for those of you tuning a in, crumb of dick. for those crumb. of you, just a crumb. <laughs> There's a pill for that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, all right, let's, let's get it going. For those of you tuning in for the very first time, Tales of Adventure Agents of We're Boo. sorry. Yes. Off, we're sorry. Second off, this is a homebrew <laughs> D- Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition podcast. Where I take my vic, I mean my players, instead of going from levels 1 to 20, take them from level 0 to level 30. Once again, for all the homebrew material that I will be using, instead of kind of putting them as a shout out, also just kind of shout them out throughout the podcast, but also I will put them in the links in the descriptions below. As always, if you want to go out and support for PRW and also for what we do, you can always go on our website www.realityisasocialconstruct.wordpress.com That's www.riasc.wordpress.com As always, you can look us up on our Facebook, you can look us up on Twitter, Instagram, and we will be putting these not only on our blog, as well as our YouTube a couple weeks later after they come out. And with that, I'm going to bring it back over once again to Matt, and see if you have anything for Project Revolution Wrestling. Well, I tell you something, brother. We got amazing things for Project Revolution Wrestling. Uh, oh, do do it. Do do Leave that in, James. Do do an overstock of inventory of videos. We we are now overstocked on wrestling videos, and a pass of the same is on you. <laughs> so check us out on YouTube, PRW. Project Revolution Wrestling Underground. Please type that into the search bar. Check us out with the fabulous Breezy Van Buren. Hi, I'm Women's Champ. For now. Oh. The amazing and sexual Mike Balls. 
Well, I'm kind of sexual. I mean, I have the hair. God damn it. <laughs> kind of sexual white chocolate. And Estrada's there, too! Yeah, I'm, Let's I'm continue one, on I'm, to the next part of the ad! I'd like to think I'm one half of the most dominant PRW tag team ever, but it's mostly just my tag team partner. Don't lie, you know you're a sub. Alright, <laughs> so, please check us out on PRW at PRW Underground today, after you listen to the rest of this fucking podcast, because we put a lot of work into this, and we're, we're trying to have a lot of fun here, so just pay attention to this first, and then... And go to Project Revolution huh? Wrestling. Thank you so much. And back to you! I'm bad. <laughs> Every enthusiastic is always mad. I love That it. was terrible. Oh, I no, just I mean, I thought tripped really all over good. myself. But hey, you know what? You know what? It's Matt, <laughs> Matt, 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 look at me. You tripped over yourself, but you know what? That's okay. That just means we have more room to improve and get better with it. It's also that's the all power of editing. Yeah, that's also the power of editing. Right, James? Once again, as you all can hear, I am joined by my lovely players. If I could have my players say hi, starting with on my left. Hi, I'm the Fabulous Breezy Jambiara, and I am playing Ayana, Dazzler, a half elf bard. Let's get it. <laughs> to the front of me. Hi, I am Matt Domka, also known as John Francis, also known as Trash the Rogue, who is the only worthwhile member in this whole fucking party. Hey. <laughs> As always, my bestest friend in the whole wide world. Hi, I'm single. I mean, <laughs> I'm Jared, also Estrada. Um, and I'm the Barbarian, a.k.a. the only one who can actually do anything in this party. And literally we have the lovely, lovely man bun over here. <laughs> uh, both. I am Nick, Sir Leonard, by the way. And you guys said you are, what was it, the... Most useful or whatever it was, and the only one who does. Something. Who's the one who took the head off the suit of armor last time? That's me. Shut up, Pauls. <laughs> Just ruined your push. The way he said "that's me" sounded like a little kid. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, That's and we're gonna pause and and saving the best for last. And it's now, unfortunately, a disembodied voice coming through the black mirror of my computer. It's David. I am the ghost that will haunt your computer. And also, I will delete any of your porn history. If you need any assistance with your computer or technology, please call 1 800, not my problem. And I will definitely get back to you, maybe sometime soon in the future. See, you say this, <laughs> you know how to work a computer, yet you still didn't know, I know what how a sport. I know a computer, I know how to build a computer, I know how to disassemble one, I know how to. That, that's and yet, great. And yeah, yet you, a you, microwave you, perplexes you. Indeed, you know and, a sp I'm and you didn't know what a spork was. I feel so offended by that. Even a thing when I was growing up. Mm, it was a thing so, when everybody was growing up. We're the I, same I age. Yeah, yeah, Matt's 30, and he knows what a spork is. Jesus, you're old. Listen, <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> so. Rick Crew starts at 9. You should be here at 8. You got here at 12. It just called you old. You little shit. You shut up, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that all being said, and with announcements out of the way, let us dive back in to the world. Are we sure all the announcements are out of the way? Are we oh. sure we're ready to dive back into the yes, game? Yeah, yeah, I think that's Is there any other announcement that needs to be said? Someone come up with an announcement. Uh, Breezy's gay. Uh, I'm queer. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. that, that's fair. We, we, we stand for this. We, we, we could edit that part out. We, that was kind of problematic, Jerry. <laughs> he said announce something, and well, we had to announce something, and Breezy is gay. Queer. Queer. <laughs> sure, blame it on the white guy. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I mean, you are You're white. You're going to be problematic, so you're just going to shift the blame to the white guy. Yeah, shift it to you. <laughs> I mean, you did almost call me out there again. Uh, Sorry. I, 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 Keep it off. Keep it, keep it off. off. Actually, edit out the queer part and just keep the half stick. All the in. comments are going to be like, all right, get rid of Trask. No. Get rid of him now. Get rid of him. No, you got to, uh, like, chop and screw it to make it say, <laughs> actually, I'm a house nigga. <laughs> and this right. is the story of how Trask with Orion Arakba in uh, oh. Adventures of Boo. J James, I'm going to need you to edit edit all of that out. <laughs> you, you know which parts to edit out. Just, well, we'll check that out. Later. All right, let's start. Let's start. Every day that has to start with you. Exactly. But without further ado, let's take it back to the world of Eberron, the nation of Cover, the city of Sharn, and to the Bureau of Occultic Observations. Boo. Boo. So. Delicious. 
Last time on Tales of Adventure, Agents of Boo. Ooh. Our heroes got assigned for their graduation exam and found out that it was a little bit more puzzling and challenging than they thought. After getting split up with Zhao Ken going with Rose and Thorn, the children of this mysterious house. Oh, the children of the Thorn. The children of the Thorn. I like that. That's a good one. I the children you. of the bush. You're getting goddamn it from other people now. You gotta stop. <laughs> Our intrepid and rookie agents tour around the house, seeing what they could find, and as they slowly piece together more information, they had a conflict with the house, telling them that in order for them to leave, one must stay, as though they are preparing for some dark and nefarious ritual for a lesser child of Kyber known as the Decayer. As our players go through, still on alert for the deer mysteriously loose in the death house. With Zhao Ken... about the deer. <laughs> Did you really? I can't forget, I can't forget the gloves coming off <laughs> and doing the finger <laughs> thing. Yang, 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 yang. <laughs> our heroes, a little lost in trying to figure out a way to go, got a little bit of Phantasmal intervention. And as they seen that Zhao Ken was able to manipulate some of the world around them. Either smashing a plate to gain attention, trying to smash a cup against the wall with Ayana to- throwing her sa- uh, tossing her sandwich on the ground. <laughs> tossing her salad. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like that's where oh, you were God. going. <laughs> please, please nobody toss Ayana's salad yet. <laughs> we, are, we are not even five it's episodes in. Did you say yet? I've seen Sir Leonard look at her. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah, Sir, Sir Lynn is going for Ayana really hard. Well, no. I do have fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. 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 <laughs> Yes, and you also did throw crack. We also have crack with us. Yes, crack is, is now in the inventory. Jo- yeah, crack is now in your inventory. <laughs> He's in my inventory. Yeah. So crack has joined the party. Um, as well as the <coughs> Zhao Ken getting his party members' attention, led to a very, very big discovery in the library, with the secret room and the mysterious altar of the four eye-socketed skull with the Eye of Providence. For those of you that don't know, an eye of providence is basically the all-seeing eye, which is a triangle with a motif of an eye in the center, with three lines coming off of the points. Illuminati confirmed. With that, Trast was able to definitely hide the totem away for some use later. And as our party continued to go upward, they found themselves on a balcony and saw that on the side, the balcony led to a mysterious secret door. As they were exploring, however, Trask got a little too close to a suit of armor, which turned to, turned out to be an animated armor. It wildly swung and started to combat our players. I didn't do it! <laughs> Stop looking at me! With the players not realizing that the vest that they got at the beginning of their training gave them the ability to resist slashing damage. After a long and trainious fight and weird happenings of magic going abound, the animated armor was finally taken down when the muscle cleric, that is Sir Leonard, threw down his stick, squared up, and, and backhanded the suit of armor's helm right off with Gildar's ready to bat it out like Jackie Robinson and hit it out of the park. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> and then you ran the bases and fell promptly to sleep after using both of your rages. We pick up now. It is two, one to two minutes after the battle. How long have we been in the house? Good question. Oh. How long do you think you've been in the house? I don't know. I mean, we have... We had the battle mm-hmm. in, in, with the wolves. We had the whole start of the thing, including waking up and getting here in the first place. So my guess is not a goddamn clue. So we've been up for what, 12 hours at this point? Okay, that's what you think? I don't know. Okay. You're the god. <laughs> so, do you, do you... Does that question pop into Trask's head? Yes. 
you all see, the, those of you that are conscious, Trask kind of like thinks about something and you see automatically poop, a timer pop up over his head. And you see that the timer reads 13, 58, 67. And, excuse me, 13, 58, 47, 46, 45, 44. We have 13 hours to finish. Oh, joy. And I don't know that, actually. I was going to suggest that we take a rest, but I don't know if we'll have time now. Well, you do know that a short rest consists of taking a half an hour to an hour, and a long rest consists of taking six to eight hours. I, I say we take six hours to try to figure out what he meant, but you got to get downstairs with T and yeah, A. Yeah, let's take, let's take six hours. We'll just take a, a watch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, who's going to take first? Because there's a balcony. Well, I'm already right? out cold. Yeah, I was like, you're already out cold, so it would be between Ayana, yeah. it would be between Ayana Trask, <sighs> and Sergio. And you I said mean, there's a balcony, right? Yes, you guys are still out. So what I'm thinking is we can rest on the balcony. We move the barbarian to the balcony. Is rest I, on the balcony. I'm we already back to it, so there's only one entrance. Okay. I'm yeah, already in the balcony. You're an elf, right? Mm -hmm. You only need four hours then. Yes. So sure. you can take the first, yeah. like, two hours. I'm going to take the first two hours with you. Okay. And then, yeah, Sir Leonard can take over. Yeah. Okay, so we have Ayano first watch, Trask was second, and then Sir Leonard you're taking yeah. the last watch. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Because you 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 only need to sleep before. Yeah. Okay. So first watch, go ahead and roll me. Just go ahead and roll me a, a d20. Just a pure luck check. Fifteen. Fifteen. You don't add anything to pure luck. No, this is a pure luck check. So just roll a straight d20. Fifteen. Okay. Let me take a look and what my notes and ha what I have prepared. This dag is here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. What is Ayana doing to kind of pass the time? Is Ayana kind of keeping guard? Kind of like lost in her thoughts a little bit? Cause Ayana, a lot of crazy stuff Ayana is lost in her thoughts and she keeps staring at her bow. Okay. She's confused about what what she heard, mm -hmm. not to mention the weird writing that she's seen in the book earlier. So she, her mind is just kind of wandering, and she's just kind of staring at her bow and, like, getting lost in her mind. Okay. You get lost in your mind, and as you're kind of staring at your bow, you're kind of examining it, and you turn it over, and you see the initials, the initials that you both carved when you first made it together and you're just kind of thinking about what happened and how it's been a very very rough couple of years without him though he is with you just not with you physically and as you're kind of having this moment and thought of conversation you hear <coughs> And kind of like confused a little bit, you see the pile of the animated armor starts to coalesce and conform again. As you hear tink tink the helmet oh, that Sir shit. Leonard taught like <clears throat> Guild Arts smash and baseball like home run hit decides to basically fly back tink 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 tink. And roll, and you see that the you have about maybe a minute, maybe two minutes before the armor is fully realized and fully healed. Uh, how long into the rest is this? It's probably been about thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. What do you do? You have only about a minute. Um, you're up with me, right? This is in no. the first. This is, in the, this this is, is in on the first. first watch. We set it up for two different ones. Yeah. yeah. So he's gonna be up for two two hours before he goes to sleep with. Okay. Her, yeah. So you're up with Ayana then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You all. So I see all this. Yep. Oh, shit. Ching, ching, I ching, grab ching, the ching. I grab the helmet. Okay. And I, and, I, and I keep it off the body. Okay. As you grab something else. Ching. You are. Go ahead and make me a strength check. Oh fuck. <laughs> Five. As you're kind of like, <laughs> like waving and kind of like almost trying to catch it, you jump up and catch it, but the force of the helmet kind of 
takes you with it. All right, am and, I am I hanging on the back of it? Yeah, you're like hanging in the air as the helmet. I'm gonna draw my revolver and put it in the weak spot and wait for it to be. Okay. Back. Okay, yeah. That, I kind of want to... Okay, so you're going to hold your action. Grab a hold of it, too. Okay. You're going to grab a hold of, like, Trash's leg. Try to... <laughs> yeah, trying to... Go ahead and uh... make me a strength check. 18. That's 18. a... It's 18. 18. Okay, yeah, you basically <sighs> see this happening. You're just like... Huh, huh, and grab Trash by the ankles, and we're just kind of, like, flexing and pulling... Trash, you're holding on. Trast. Excuse me. Trash. 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 You're holding on by one arm and having, like, the gun ready just in case. You can see the armor ting, 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 sliding together. Not it's crooked, and you see that it's, like, limping towards you and reaching out a crooked arm to grab the helmet from you. Screw it. I let it go. Okay. You let the helmet go? Yes. Okay. You let the helmet go. You fall back, and you I would fall like. On your I, I want you to do a plan with this. Okay. When I let go of it, I want to land and kind of catch myself. Okay. And yell at Ayana, push, run, and push. Okay. You and let go to push it off the stairs. Okay. You're gonna go. What are you gonna do, Ayana? I am going to do exactly what he said. Okay. You're gonna so run up and just full sprint. full sprint and tackle this thing? Yes. Okay. Off the stairs. Go ahead and make me another strength or athletic. Go ahead and make me an athletic. Both of us? Or, uh, you know, or can Ayana just do it with advantage? I'd say, yeah, you can do it with advantage because, Trash, you are helping. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Okay. Roll again. Roll again. Roll again. Roll again. Roll again. So sixteen, okay, six, seventy, eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Wait. So my acrobatics is three. Do what? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. I was just athletic. It would be athletic. Okay. Then that's just a sixteen. Oh. Sixteen. Okay. You just kind of like. Okay. Um. You're not. You're like. Um. Okay. Uh. Strength is not my strong suit, but you kind of like line it up. And you kind of, like, wait until it's, like, momentarily distracted try and put it on. And you just, like, <sighs> and you see this, like, five-foot-tall, skinny, like, string bean elf just kind of, like, full-on football <laughs> tackle this plate, this suit of armor. I'll just imagine it. We I... both do. We both do. Okay, you all, like, but, uh, two I'll string eat... beans. Thank you very so, much. So, I'm so... more so imagining you guys actually run and do, like, the Godzilla drop you know kick. You know what? So what I'm hearing is you all basically run up and choke slam this thing down the stairs. Is what yeah, pretty yeah. much. Okay, yeah. How Ayana, yeah. you take <laughs> Ayana, you take the left trash, you take the right edge, you both are kind of, like, running as the thing is, like, drops his great sword and it's trying to, like, reach out and grab you all. You're just like look at each other three and you just lift it and just toss it down the stairs as it's trying to grab it you hear ting 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 it's moving I'm gonna train my guy and you it falls because the DC you had to beat was 10 because it was still reforming and regenerating it fell all the way down to the first level. Like, mm -hmm. it did the funny thing where, like, if you see someone fall down the stairs... Oh, in the I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it fell out of you. With all the parts kind of scattered. So, and I imagine the weak spot hit the floor a few times as well. You don't know. It I, got I out of like range to, here. I would like to sit there and just listen to okay. see if I hear any tinks. Okay. Ting, 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 ting. I One minute. Kind of just looks at him like... Two minutes. Three minute. Well, guess that means we gotta wake these fools up. Yeah. Jiao Ken, how would you like to help your party? <clears throat> Honestly. Um they're at the um uh, what is it called? They're still on the balcony. You know what? I have an idea. Oh, God. Hold on. Hold on. I actually really like this idea. As much as I love the 
idea of chucking a clock at the damn thing. I can't physically do that. <laughs> I will say, if you are willing, if you sacrifice <clears throat> something, then you actually will have the power to manifest an item that would be able to help your party. It can't ultimately solve their problem, but it could be like, oh, like I spawned a red barrel like five feet away from where the enemies are shooting, you know, like in a video, like video game logic. Oh, we're, we're spawning Donkey Kong though. Basically. Yeah, so okay, if you I wanted to do it because uh, of where you are, you well, can certainly do it, but it is going to cost you something. How big of a cost are we talking here? What do you, what are you, what shall you sacrifice? I will sacrifice uh, one of my health potions. I would say that would be sufficient. Alright, so down to one. <laughs> and then there was one, son of a bitch. As you all hear this, uh, like the, the low drumming of the, uh, like this metal, metallic armor coming up the stairs, and you all are kind of getting ready, you see. Oh, can I do it real quick? Yeah, go ahead. What do you got in mind? Basically, it's. What's going to happen is, um, if I can tell that's in the conservatory, I'm literally going to draw, like, a different... It's, it's basically, like, a different symbol. Basically, think of, like, how, you know, like, Dr. Strange has, like, his weird thing. Almost. Mm -hmm. There was, like, a symbol probably I'll see, like, in there, and I'll be like, all right, let me draw this and see if I can manifest it. Because I saw one of these symbols. It probably won't be, won't be unknown to them, mm -hmm. but it's known to me from what I saw from the other side. Okay. I will say that you are able to do so. And as you all are kind of getting prepared and ready for this thing to come back up the stairs, you will you Trass and Ayana see next to the stairs uh, almost kind of like somebody writing something and seems to kind of be these runes. And as you kind of look at it for a second, a giant like grandfather style clock just materializes. And it's there almost like it's been there forever. And you see on the glass mantelpiece part, written in that same blue script, is throw it with an exclamation point. <laughs> throw me. <laughs> All right. Throw it down the stairs. Pick it up. Make me another strength check. God. Uh, with advantage. advantage. With advantage, because you both are helping out. Because you're helping out Trask, right? Yeah. Yeah, with advantage. 13, okay, with advantage. 13. 13? Oh, wait, no. That's, that's a 19, 19, sweetheart. Oh, no, no. It was, I moved that. It was landing, it landed on the 9. Yes, it was on the 9. Okay. Well, thank you for telling the truth. Now, because he told the truth, I get nothing. <laughs> go ahead. I lowered the roll, DC. <laughs> go ahead and roll me a D6. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Um, it's a regular dice. Yep. Oh, I knew that. It's all right. 2, 13, 15. As you're kind of like going through trash, you're kind of pushing, it's taking a little bit. As you see this thing just slowly starting to just like walk up like it's raining about to beat ass. Lift with your you, legs! You, Ayana, here, like you almost kind of like feel the presence of someone else pushing with you. And you're just kind of like confused for a second. Trash, you even feel that it kind of gets a little light. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as the thing is kind of coming up the stairs, it stops and kind of puts its hands up. But you manage to push and and now the sounds of like broken clock, wood, glass, metal is all falling down the stairs. I follow it down. Okay, <laughs> you're like running down with your revolver out, just like <laughs> you're a dagger. Oh, okay, dagger. you're running out with your uh, your stab your stabbing. When in doubt, dagger out. out. Is it, on, is it on the ground? You see that it's on the ground? And you see where the front and the back plate would have uh -huh. connected is split open. And you see a small, weird, grotesque, pulsating bul uh, bulbous right where the uh, right where the symbol was. I the stab back. it. Okay. You stab it. It stops moving. Stab it again. Three more times. Okay. One, two, three. Stab and rip. Stab and rip. You have issues. <laughs> it's still, <laughs> is it trying to come back together? I'm you, standing there watching it now. Is it, is it coming back together? You see that the arm, the suit of armor is not moving. 
is not trying to stand together. I take, I go back upstairs, but I take the uh, the glove, the hand with mm-hmm. me. If it moves, it's coming back to life. So going back and finishing the watch. Okay, sounds good. That is what happens on your watch. So that was fun. What's those initials on your bow? None of your business. Hmm. I'm tired. <laughs> While they going on, you just hear. I don't know. I Listen, don't know I, who I, are you. I don't know if I did anything to offend you or anything like that, um, but we are going to have to be a team here. <clears throat> That's nice, but you asking me personal questions about my personal things, I don't see how that would help. That's, that's fair. How, how did you get into Boo? How did you get here? Uh, matter of chance. Likewise. That's fair. And, uh, will you be sticking around? She kind of stretches and yawns a bit. She's like, ah. I don't know. I'm kind of having fun. Maybe I will. I think you should. You're a valuable part of this team. I walk away and go to bed. Okay. You walk away and go to bed. Ayana, you're just kind of lost in your, lost in your thoughts. And you kind of hear a voice go, he's kind of right now. She kind of sniffles a little bit, like, as if, like, trying to, like, hold back something. And she's like, yeah, well, what do you know anyway? And kind of goes through it. Okay. You all go to bed. Sir Leonard, you rise, and it's your turn to take shift. Can you please roll me a d20? Yep. What'd you get? Six. Six. As you are kind of just kind of like watching and waiting for something. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> it's going to be the stag, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, a, a 20 was the stag for a six. You just get the deal now. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a familiar sound. Oh, uh, no. Right above you, probably about twenty to twenty-five feet on the, and you guys, you can actually see that like the roof is probably about twenty-five to thirty feet on top of you, as the balcony kind of juts out from the rest of the house. You see standing on the roof and hearing, cop, cop, <laughs> You see the deer you, <laughs> is up on the roof, and is just staring at. Oh my. Oh my. I don't know none of this because I've been asleep this entire time. And you see that the deer is just staring at you. Just staying there waiting. Retreats in the shell. (laughs) (laughs) They're on their own. (laughs) Don't give me any ideas. (laughs) Sir Leonard, is there anything you wish to know? Oh. Um, no, think about this calmly and wisely. <laughs> calmly. The deer is just up there. It's not doing he's, anything. He's standing. Oh, Leonard, don't get shell shot. Ah, uh, stop it. The deer is just standing there, menacing. <laughs> menacing. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, before you before you decide what you're gonna do, um, uh, how long into his. Yeah. Uh, How long into my watch is this? Probably about an hour. So how long? Through. So how long has the night been so far then? Uh, because of what happened with you two, about three hours. Three hours? Okay. Yep. Ah. Uh, you just see that it's just staring at you. I'm not going to do anything. Just. I'm going to keep a close eye on it, just to make sure it doesn't it's do it. It's a staring it. contest. We have now have a staring contest between a turtle and a goddamn deer. <laughs> a stag. I love Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I mean, do you want to get into a staring contest with it? Yes. 
<laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. As you look into its eyes, you see lights. This as, is now Pennywise. Yeah, as, as, you look, no, as you look into its eyes, it licks its lips sensually. <laughs> it wants you. The deer's name is Chloe. <laughs> Clouds on one side, and Chloe on the other. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> All right, so, what, what kind of check do you need to roll? So, Sir Leonard, I need you to roll me a Constitution check. Ooh. Oh shit! What's your power? Sir your Leonard's power gonna go evil. Is... The cleric's about to square Plus up with all of us. <laughs> hey man, when the cleric's ready to throw hands, it's not bad. Damn! Damn. Two. Ew. What's your constitution? It's a three. Zero. It's a plus one. No, it's plus one. It's plus one, so it's a three. three. I am fucked with As a capital you kind of, like, look and you see that the... Wasn't um, that with advantage because he just knocked out a plate of armor with his bare hands? He has plenty of will. That was no. cute. That was cute how he tried to do that. But I, that, that was, I, I really liked how you tried to get the logic of that. That was really good. That was really good. Uh, but no, that that is three. Unless... You want to succeed. Are you oh. satisfied with that three? No, I'm not. <laughs> Nicholas, <laughs> give him something. Sir Leonard, <laughs> what are you willing health to Health potion. Do? You're willing to give me a health potion? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now you have one health potion. As you are kind of like staring down this deer, not moving from its eye contact, you feel... One of your health potions rattles and tsh, the bottle breaks. As you're kind of like looking, you see the deer kind of takes a look and smiles. And you see, instead of it having a normal deer mouth, it almost has kind of like a dog, like a dog muzzle where the like the uh, the lips go all the way back, and it has a full row of Sharp teeth. Jesus Christ. As you this hear is it go, terrifying. As you hear it go. <laughs> 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 huh, as if I didn't need more nightmare fuel. <laughs> <laughs> and you see it disappears in the darkness. Gildars wakes Fucking up from, Wendigo deer. <laughs> Gildars wakes up from this nightmare in his bed with his mother yelling at him, right? No. Oh, you're, you're still passed out. Um, so that is the end of the second shift. Mm. Who would like to take the last shift? I, ah. I need my long rest, so. I volunteer him. <laughs> I am out cold. You will have to actually wake me. You're going to have to do some kind of, kind of check to wake me up. And if you do, then he may or may not get his full rest. I'll do it. You're going to wake him up? You know I need my full rest to rage, right? No, I was going to I, I was gonna take the last shift. Oh. Okay. Well, it, it probably would have oh, been oh. about four hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, four hours. There you go. Okay. Go ahead and make me another D20 roll. But Stag comes back. It laughs a bit. It calls you a little bitch. Twelve. Twelve. Why do I suck at the you dice? You see, as you're kind of like standing there, the familiar writing in front of you as it kind of burns like with this brilliant blue light the letters T I C okay so this is kind of trying to read it like tick 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 tic tic Shit, he said it four times. Giant tick of yours needs a song. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't go for this. Is that Beetlejuice? Teak? <laughs> hey, kids. <laughs> Don't worry, I come up in the ne- Don't worry, I come up in the late game of the campaign. Oh, I have such shite to show you. Let me fucking tell you. Uh, I've seen The Exorcist 167 <laughs> times, and it keeps getting funnier every time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna. Uh, Bio-exorcist, baby. Why, is, why is Beetlejuice dressed like Aladdin, though? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. It's a bit. Don't worry. It'll make more sense when we have the bit later down the road. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be great. But yeah, that is, uh, that's what you see. The letters T-I-C. 
Uh, I want to pull out that <laughs> blank book and uh, write it down in that book. Okay. You write it down? Yep. And your shift ends with you all As you write, up. the words get scribbled into your hand. You all the wake cake. up, and it is now six hours later. I wake up and I go... I, I think Shut real up. hard to think. I I, I think real hard to uh, the the clock again. Okay. You think about the clock? Yeah. Nothing happens. How much time is left? I wonder. Oh, you're talking about the clock. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought you were talking about the grandfather. Clock. No, no. How much time <laughs> is happens. left? You look up and you see the time is now. So it was thirteen. Seven hours. Yeah. Forty-five minutes, and thirteen. 13 seconds. All right, that should be enough. I, I wake up, and I, I before I wake up, all you hear is, no, not, who, who are you? No, no, and I just wake up and just go, shut up! What was that? You okay, big guy? It was just a weird dream. Just a weird, weird dream, weird dream. Tell me about it. <sighs> you have uh, any idea what TA means? Not unless there's a C at the end of that. Oh, you said T-A, not T-H. T-A. Uh, tits and ass? T-H-C. What about a way to get downstairs with your T-A? Uh, it was T-A, right? Okay. I thought it was A-T. It is A-T. Oh. A-T. A-T. I mean, it's the same letters. Um, uh, Dyslexia, it's a bitch. <laughs> A-T? Oh, uh, no. I kind of take this. Fuck. Take this moment to uh, talk about. What I mean, was I know going on last we are night. going up. Maybe it's just the beginning of the word attic. But up is down. How do you? Kite say- told me that you have to use your at. How do you? Spell- you have to get to the basement. How do you spell specifically? Attic? How do you spell attic? A t t i c. Last night, um, I saw writing like we saw. You son of a bitch! <laughs> and Quick. I got here. And she opens the book and shows them. A T T I attic. Yeah, to the attic. I take off. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I'm following behind, but I'm Towards also thinking. Of, I'm also thinking about that weird dream I had. Okay. Yeah. Stuff you, you had that weird dream. You guys also know that there was the there was the secret door that you found. Uh, Earlier, wonder wonder what's up with that. That's, that's pretty fucking weird. Is anyone gonna stop me? I've I grab said him. What I'm doing? I grab him. Okay. What about that secret door? I fucking hate you. I'm envisioning running past you and you just grabbing my collar, and now my feet are fucking dangling. <laughs> <out of the way>. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the door. Could you please put me down now, large man? <laughs> I put you on top of Sir Leonard's shell. Get him off of me! I pick Sir Leonard up and both of you together and I hold you like babies. Make me a strength check. I kick Sir Leonard in the side. Yeah! <laughs> got a 20. Not the whole 30, 20. <laughs> you're... Oh, God, this is a lot of weight. Your back's gonna hurt, but, like, yeah, no, you're, you're holding them for, for the time being. Oh, that's nothing new for you. I got a 20 out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, you're holding because <laughs> Sir Leonard, by his shell alone, is, like, 300 pounds. I just put him down. Wait, wait. Oh no, I just dropped them already. I just dropped them. Yeah. He, Jared already kind of beat you to the punch. Alright, I'm going to check the door. I'm okay. going to check the door for traps. Go ahead and check the door for traps. Seven. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Get that unlocked. It is unlocked. It did swing open. I, I open it up. Okay. And I look around. You open it up and you see what appears to be a small tunnel that it looks like you all could squeeze through. Though it would be a pretty hard squeeze for you, Gildarts. But you all would only be able to squeeze in one at a time. I want to go in and stealthily just kind of scout ahead. I'll be right back. Okay. Go ahead and make me a stealth check. 19. 19. As you are just kind of like being, as you can like feel the claustrophobia kind of from this, 
you see that oh, it's oh, oh. made of, um, like, the tunnel is made out of, like, concrete and wood and brick and almost, like, the different stuff that you would see that a house would be. Do I feel like I'm going up, down, or to the side? Go ahead and make me, make me just a straight, no, go ahead and make me a perception check. Seven. You have no Seven. idea. You just kind of find your way, and it's really hard because this tunnel is also so tight, you can't turn around, uh -huh. so you can't see behind you. Yeah. But after you kind of go for a little bit, you don't see any of the light coming from behind you. Jesus. Do I feel any vibrations in the wall or something? Like something just popped down behind me? Good vibrations. Fuck. I think you gave him an idea. You should have just kept your mouth shut. What is that? That's a 16. 16. Okay. Let me look at my paper. We're you were my 19th self? Welcome to a fucked up He's situation. kind of been in there for a minute. Is he okay? Welcome to a fucked Are you up okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> if he dies, as you're going I get through, his loot. Zhao Ken, what would you like to say to Trast? As we're going through the tunnel? Yep, as he's going through the tunnel. You see that he is probably about... A good ways away? Like I said, the, the house is really weird. Come onto a door and let it knock three times. Okay. You hear off in the distance, probably about, you would gather by your hearing, maybe about 30 to 40 feet in you, a door, like someone knocking on a door three times. Okay. And that's probably about like 30 So I don't feel any vibrations like something jumped on behind me and you that's what's blocking the line. Okay. No, you do not. You just think that either the house is playing <laughs> tricks on you again or like your tunnel is super far and you okay. got you went farther than you. Alright, I keep going to the door. Okay. You, you kind of keep hearing this rhythmic three knocks and you do see as you kind of are able to kind of climb out this tunnel a small um sill where you can just kind of like sit where only one person kind of sit and you see in front of you is a door with an iron lock handle i'm gonna check it for traps go ahead uh 12. it appears not to be trapped i'll try to pick the lock okay that is sleight of hand or yep sleight yes. of hand I believe so. 14. As you go and pick the lock, and it's not even normally like the the normal physical resistance, it's almost like even as you kind of like strain and turn your lock pick in there, the lock just doesn't budge as if it's waiting for something else. Oh, I have that key. One second. What are you doing? I'm checking my own intelligence to see if I'd remember if he had a key. Okay, go ahead. Guild Arts! Guild Arts! Yeah. You do hear, like, as, at the end of this, you all hear this, like, reverberated Guild Arts as he kind of, like, shouts through the tunnel. Shit! Watch it! Watch it! I need a key! Need, key! Need, key! No! No! <laughs> Get your big ass down here! Down here! I'm too big! I'm too big! big. What do you say, Zhao You're a dick. Dick, 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 dick. You all hear Zhao Ken say that. Oh, I hear that and I immediately dash down that hallway. Down the tunnel? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna take you a while because you really gotta like squeeze through it at like one point. You do kind of get stuck. Jesus Christ. I just force my way through that as you have to kind of like almost like i want to meet him halfway okay meet him halfway do you because like i said you can't i pick his pocket and take the key well the key is actually in the bag and Tycho's guarding it right you have to go yeah i'm also here in the bag um are you guys ever gonna clean up the thing in the kitchen 
Crack, we already cleaned that Working up. on it, Crack. Are, are you sure? Um, are you sure? Totally sure. Yeah, yeah let me sure? check on Crack Definitely. real quick, Guild Arts. Yeah, you yeah. check on Crack yeah. real quick. Yeah. Oh, no. hey. oh, Grab hey, the key. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait, Give, me buddy. Give me the key. Give me that. I, I can move faster. I than found you. it first. I, I rock, paper, right. scissors you for it. All right. <laughs> All right, no, no, no. Roll me a d4. <laughs> no, actually, no. Sorry, roll me a d6. <laughs> One to two is rock. Oh. He got a three and I got a four. Oh, I mean, I didn't. So it would have been a tie. Yeah. Right? Y'all yeah. the... okay. let him talk? So, Damn. One to two is going to be rock. Three to four is going to be paper. And five to six is going to be scissors. Right. Okay? There we go. Now you can roll. <coughs> One. So four and six. So that's paper and that's scissor. So scissor beats paper. Yes. <laughs> no, paper rips through scissors. No, my. Hey, are you guys gonna clean up the and you see the as tigers? I, I hand you like, crack. Hey, come on. I hand you crack and I, I go. Oh, hey, hi, crack. Hey, <laughs> Just put him in the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on, come to the door. Can we, can we I, I lead Gildor's cart towards you, the door. I go to the door. Okay. Unlock it. You, you hear crack go. Hey, can we can we take me out of the bag? I'll take him. I put him back in my bag, and so he's no, and Tycho settle him again. I I grab crack out. What? I'm starting to get really claustrophobic. Can you guys not, like, keep me in the bag anymore? I'll keep you on my shoulder if you keep quiet. I mean, but, you know, like, I, I'm kind of, like, compelled, like, magically compelled to tell you guys to clean that up. Um, we did know, clean it up. Because of dishes. We um, did clean it up. Um, no, because I can still feel the mess down there. Okay, uh, if I, I'll, make a promise. I'll make a promise to you. Once we get my friend back, we'll clean the mess up. We just need your guidance. Oh, 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 um, um... Is that fair? Yeah, I, I don't see why not. I just don't know what... How do we get to the attic? Oh, um, I don't know. I okay, well, then you go back in the back till you figure it out. Oh, wait, you didn't... <laughs> I open the door. I just can't... Ignoring him, I open the okay. door. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a dick to crack. Leave <laughs> crack alone. The door. <laughs> what did crack ever do to you guys? <laughs> and... But I don't open it fast. I open it slowly. Okay. That's fine. You well, once you're being cautious. get. Now, usually I'm cautious, but sometimes we have to fast forward the story, so I have see. to be a little Let reckless. Let me see. 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 did that. You found the balcony. You have to go. Ah, hooray, huzzah. You open it, and you see. Yeah, I'm going to skip this one. <coughs> Dust. In cobwebs, shroud an elegantly appointed bedroom and an adjoining nursery. Oh, Double oh. doors with panes of stained glass pull open to reveal the balcony that you all were on, overlooking the front of the house. You see in the nursery and you hear soft hum. I close the door. <laughs> you close the door. And then I tell those two to come ahead to through the tunnel because we're oh. going to need them. Oh, okay, you all, you I, all come I, through I and the sill is the like really tight so you all are kind of like touching up against shoulders. Leonard actually has to take his shell off physically, turn it Wait, sideways and roll it down the hallway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling. Oh yeah, actually, no, that's a good question. Leonard, how do you, because your shell's not going to fit through. Uh-oh. He has to do what I just said, didn't Get he? Naked. Yeah. Okay, so where do you leave your shell? No, no, he takes his shell off. And no, like... I'm saying even his shell itself is too big to get through. But what if he like turns it sideways and like that? If it was too big for you to try and squeeze through, he can't. Well, even if he turns his shell, because well, it's well, a perfect. Well, but if you turn, oh, it's a perfect circle. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, because it was too, it was too heavy to, for it was too small for you to squeeze through. Ayana's kind of, Ayana's kind of looking at him like. You can take your shell off, right? I overheard you saying that you can take your shell off. Leave she's my like, nakedness alone. She's kind of smiling at him, <laughs> deviously, I as she's I, tying her I, hair up, I, which is like all over I, the place now because it grows fast. We actually hear this, yeah, and I said trash. you actually see that uh, Ayana's hair was probably about her sh uh, shoulder length. Now you see it's probably about to her upper back. We, and she's tying it up in the post. We hear them talking about him being naked, and I pull out a towel and like, please don't let the turtle come in. I give it to Trash so he can go there and get there faster. So please yeah, don't let her get in naked. I, <laughs> Ayala's reaching her back, and she's like, well, I mean... I literally run back to Leonard, <laughs> Okay. look at him disappointedly, hand him the towel, and then leave again. Okay. Leave back up the towel. 
Let I me, have you, this. What do you want to do? You're welcome to stay in the balcony and see if you can find another way up. You're always welcome to do that. To split off from the party. And I do have this uniform. Another way up. Earlier. So we are going towards the attic. I have this. Uh. I have this uniform. Do you want this uniform? Wait, are I there think any, it looks so cute. You said we're in a little small area right before the door. Is mm-hmm. there any other thing, like a hallway or something, besides that little area we came out through? Make me a perception check. Put on the servant uniform. 15. Can I stealth into the room? That's just, that's just, sure. that's you, 15. Guild Arts, do you open the door? No, yeah. I'm not trying to open the door to see if in the hallway. Okay, because Trash was saying he wants to. You can open the door. I left the key in there. I oh, left okay, it unlocked. Yeah, go ahead and make me a stealth check. What did you get again? I, I got a 15 on mine. 15. What'd 12. 12. You think you're hidden. 15 to... Yeah, as you kind of like look and remember, you think you saw a little bit of light coming from one of the doors? Because it, ba- it was weird because it was the balcony. And then like, you think you saw a little bit of light, so you think it might be a hallway. Um, where is this room again? Is it under where the balcony was that we were at? Or... It's weird. That said it was across from it. It's yes. You see that the room is across from the balcony, but at least from what you saw when you came up the stairs, the balcony was the only thing here. Oh, God, is there, has anybody got any butter? Butter? So we can just slip him through. I am saying that I do have we these. We could break the shell and try to mend it later. I took that uniform earlier. Hmm, you know what? I have an idea. Break the shell? Sir Leonard. Anyone yes. have a mending? Make me... Actually, you know what? Let me see if I think you remember. Uh. Sir Leonard, I am going to give you a choice, and I want you to answer me as truthfully as possible, okay? Oh, God. Don't lie to the DM. I won't. <laughs> you really should not lie to the DM. Roll Let number. me find... He has perfect insight. There we go. All right, you ready? Yep. High or low? High. You recall that this house in itself is essentially playing with you. That the house is toying, that the house can move practically whatever. But that also means that the house is technically an evil creature. And you do think that there might be a way for you to squeeze everything through. But it would take you a couple of minutes to prepare some holy water. Because you have that wonderful talent tree feature. Yes, I do. And what is that called again, pray tell? Uh, let's get the paper. <coughs> I just wrote it down as make holy water. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Well, we can just leave it in there for the time being. But yeah, you you gather that if you wanted to really fit your shell in, you could take maybe up to like five minutes to create holy water and douse yourself in it and create like, and basically like burn away the, uh, the insides of this. Well, he's hiding and will wait. Okay, so are you going to do that? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Because so, I am not about to get look, naked in front of this elf. Because she scares excuse me. Excuse me? She scares me. Well, while, that's racist. While he's working on that. Okay. She's offering me what a does this work bedroom uniform. Look like? What did you say? What does this bedroom look like? It's the you nursery. You see that this bedroom does look like a servant's quarters, but looks very nicely upkept. Is there any bookshelves or high ledges? You do. You do see that there is a bookshelf over on the left next to a drawer and a mirror. You do see that there is a ledge that contains a couple of other books. What I would like to do... And you do also still hear the humming coming from the nursery. Is it the humming I heard earlier? It is. Okay. What I would like to do is I'd like to sneakily try to get on top of the bookshelf. Okay. Go prone. Okay. And pretty much take a sniping position. Okay. For when my friends join. Okay. As you do that, as you're kind of climbing up, because I'm just going to use your your uh, your stealth, because that's kind of a part of it. Uh-huh. As you're going through and kind of like going, you feel your foot hits a book and doo, 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 it falls, and you hear the humming stops as you manage to kind of scramble up, and you hear. I try to hide again. Okay. Make me another stealth check. With advantage, because I'm a rogue. 
No. Fuck! Because it's fun this way. Fuck! <laughs> what did you get? Oh. Nine. Nine. As, uh, as uh, my boys at NADPOD would say, and girl, shout out to the two crew. Oh, that's a two. Okay. As you're going. It's not in that going, one, though. It's not in that one. As you're kind of going, shit, shit, shit. You kind of like try to scramble, but your your pants get caught on something, and you fall and like rip the front part of your pants. No! As you see, as you kind of like get up and kind of like shake yourself off, you turn around and you see this spectral thing that you saw in the beginning, and you scream, and you see it just kind of. Scream back. Do I have to scream? And you see the spectral figure kind of runs away. Huh. Neat. And you see that she runs kind of like uh, uh, like over in the side of the corner and it's kind of like starting to cower in the corner. She goes, oh no, please, please, don't hurt me, 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 don't hurt me. This is the same spectral figure I saw when Yeah, you I, can hear that. You can hear When it. I climbed up to the window? That is. You do see that it has the nursemaid's uniform and the splotches of blood in front. Give me a perception check. <laughs> now you roll high! <laughs> what did you get? Uh, 19, 21. 21. You see before she kind of like looked aback, as you can kind of see her face now, it's still very ghastly and monstrous, but you see as she looked at you, she looked startled and scared. And you can see in the front, the splotches that you saw, you can count them as 15 blood splotches. And they each of them have tears. She in was them. stabbed. It appears to be that way. And you see that she's kind of like cowering in the corner with her hair in her face. She says, no, no, Gil please, 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 no, 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 please, 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 the baby is sleeping. The, the Gil- baby is sleeping. Sh- don't wake the baby. Just don't wake the baby. Sh- sh- Kill the arts. Get the others. No, I wait for them, obviously, okay. and then when they get down, and then we go in there all together. Okay, yeah. At, Sir Lynn, I'll say at this point, you douse yourself in holy oil, and you just like, tss, as you're kind of like going up, you can, oh, you. you can kind of like hear the walls kind of sizzle, and the house kind of shakes a little bit. It doesn't like it. Stop doing that. <laughs> no, I'm not getting naked. <laughs> Does the house also want to see you naked? Apparently! Is this true, house? Silence. <laughs> I had those kind of just What like, is taking them so long? Excited you, that she doesn't have This shell is too big. Well, then get in here. Please, please. If, if he's any, almost here. He's right please, down the please, hall. If there's anything right. you want, just just take it, okay? Just, what, what's your name? Um, uh, uh. And you see that she's still kind of like really scared. It's okay. As, as, it's as, okay. She, as she shies away and he's saying it's okay, we all finally get there. And I just okay. open the door and we all in like, and oh, out. No, please, please, please. No, 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 no. It's fine. No, 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 it's fine. No, no, it's, fine. No, no, no. it's fine. Hey, hey, guys, guys. It's fine. Uh, it's and fine. you see that she kind of like removes her like bony kind of like hand. Like you see that they're practically yeah. claws. And she kind of like kind of folds them and kind of puts them under and kind of like tucks her hands under her chin. What's your name? My 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 name is Meredith. What happened here? Um... I, I don't know. I'm I'm just the I, I'm just the nursemaid. I, I, I just take care of I take care of little Walter in there. What happened Walter? to you? I I I, I don't know. What? what do I you, don't what do you mean? I don't think she left. What do you mean? I don't know. Um, Wait, is everybody just, in the room yet? Yeah, everyone's yeah, in the room. You're just a little startled. Okay. That's all. I'm just wondering. Oh, I've mm. just been. Uh, is the DM will allow? Oh. Hmm. If the DM will allow. Oh, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> For those of you who oh. aren't listening right now, uh, a.k.a. James, Matt is eating a cracker, so this is just a joke for you. It's a cracker eating a cracker. <laughs> a cracker eating a cracker. Cannibalism at its finest. That's racist. That's racist. <laughs> Might as well join in on the fun, then. James, you can cut it out. It's fine. So, <laughs> I getting that's back right. into it, as you all, <coughs> excuse me, oh, I think I'm coming down with something. Blame Jared. Uh, as you all are kind of having this conversation, you see the uh, the cloth on the bed. 
flies off. You see Meredith, oh, oh no, oh, oh, what was, what was that? What it's fine, what was that? It's fine, it's oh. fine. And you see that she's kind of like nervously kind of like How long have her. you worked here? Oh, um, I, I've been, I've been a nurse here for, for about eight years, sir. You see she's kind of like nervously kind of like twiddling her, her fingers and near each other. So you know all the children? Oh, yes, yes. Are you, do you know of, of young Thornbolt and Lady Rosalind? We've met them. Oh. I, I, they, they took a friend of mine, and I guess they're playing hide and seek, and we can't find them. Oh, I, um, I'm wondering if you could show us where the attic is. Oh, oh uh, and as soon as you say the words, I actually goes, oh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about, about that. I, I just don't. Can you tell me the truth? Maybe an inside check. With advantage, because I want to know as well. So okay. I'm going to help, you know, help action. 18 and a 19. Nice. Um, 25. 25. You definitely know that she's hiding something, but you tell in her face it's not anything malignant or evil. She just looks really scared. I would like to yes. see if I can persuade her into like trusting... If not all of us, me, okay. and to talking into to me and telling me if she can, if she knows where the attic is. Okay. What were you willing to say and do to persuade her? As you see, you kind of come up. She goes, "Oh, hi, um, young lady. What, what, what is your name?" I'm like, "Hi, my name is Diana. <laughs> Most people call me." Huh? It's not a resume. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Diana. Diana. My name's I'm Diana. also a dancer. <laughs> AKA international pop star Brittany Brittany. <laughs> she goes, Oh, hi, that's Ayana. That's that's a lovely name. Thank that, you. That means, that, um um I forgive me, my Elvish is a bit bad. Doesn't that mean uh forest? It does. I think. <laughs> oh, well yeah, 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 yeah. Um I was wondering if there Excuse me. I was wondering if, you know, I kind of pull it to the side a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, I really need to find a way to get to the attic. If there's anything that you could do to help us out, I, I'd greatly appreciate it. And you, uh, make me a persuasion check. Persuasion. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Four, five, six, Are we helping seven. by backing up? Yeah. Kind of I'd say so. Can we, can we get go that ahead advantage? and yes, go ahead and roll with advantage. You ward down the DM. Congratulations. I didn't do much better. Well, oh, I anyway, I did worse. Like I, was saying, I, I um, <laughs> I want to succeed. Actually. Okay. What and are you willing to give? I am going to. I still have this cloak. Is that cool? No. Oh, yeah. you put the cloak around your shoulders. Do oh. You, do you still have the cloak around? Uh, no. I have it in my inventory, though. Okay. I want to put the cloak. I was going to... Get out of my head! Get out of my hat. I do still have on the hat. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You I forgot. You see, as she kind of, like, is taking a look, you see that she kind of looks in the hat, and she kind of, like, backs up against the wall, afraid of you. I take, the, I take the hat off. You, you, you're, you're, you're one of them? No, 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 no,
Passive reception bastard. <laughs> I love how y'all just took over my crackers, though. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've been friends with, you, we've all been friends with Matt for a while, though. <laughs> so go ahead and roll. Crackers. Oh, crackers. <laughs> oh, God, you put his butt in my face. <laughs> Every time he gets in from my face. 18 mm-hmm. plus plus three. Three, 21. Sir Leonard, as you're seeing and you see that she's kind of like, shh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. You notice in, well, what you don't hear, the baby swaddle isn't making any sound. And as you see and she turns it, there's nothing in there. Ooh. And that's where we're going to end tonight's game. Oh, God Bullshit. damn it. <laughs> Bullshit. 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 So, <laughs> once again, guys, we will pick up with the Death House graduation arc. Unless somebody has anything to plug. How why is this an arc? Why, is our, why aren't you plugging PRW? Take it away, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie? I'm a cracker eating a cracker. You plug PRW. <laughs> Apparently I'm not a charismatic fuck like Breezy. Why don't you plug PRW? I'll plug PRW. Good thing no one told me to. I'm just a sex appeal in PRW. Yeah, that's pretty much true. Well, oh. I think that will do it for about this session. Uh, once oh, a second. Like, I don't think we said oh. PRW enough times to mention that PRW has a YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, PRW. PRW has a YouTube channel. Are you talking channel? about the PRW Project Revolution Wrestling PR- YouTube channel? Yeah. That's fantastic. How do you find it? Well, you can go on YouTube and you can look up Project Revolution Wrestling Underground, I believe. Could they find us anywhere else? Uh, we have plenty of Facebook pages as well. So you can look up PRW on that. Oh, hey, wow. Instagram. I can just like the PRW eSport page on Facebook and get all the updates on the latest PRW shows and news? Of course you can. That's fantabulous. And the Instagram. Yeah, the Instagram. PRW Instagram. even has an Instagram? An Instagram. Wow! Golly! That's far out! You sound <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I Make guess, sure. dear listeners, this is my life now. <laughs> but until then, we are going to be here making trouble, plugging PRW, and helping my intrepid Asians finally get through their fucking graduation. But until then... This is Dapper Wombat signing out for Tales of Adventure, Agents of Boo. See. Join our heroes next week as they continue to investigate the dark corners of Colvair, lurking closer than you may believe.